Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to turn your iPod Touch into an iPhone completely. So, to do this, actually no, I'll show you that I do indeed have an iPod Touch 2G. Okay, so you see we've got music here and videos here. If we go to settings... Uh, we don't have the regular stuff as an iPhone. And lastly, so see there, I've got the iPod and the uh, iPod Wi-Fi bars. So, now that I've showed you that I do indeed have an iPod Touch, uh, I'll show you how to turn it into an iPhone. Minimize this, and open up your default SSH and client. I'm already logged in to my iPod. And you're at private var root. Go up once, twice, three times. Go into system, library, and then core services. Springboard.app. And scroll down until you find two files. N45AP dot plist and m six eight a p dot plist so we're just going to go find these let me find them here okay this one and this one first of all you're going to want to copy these files to your desktop so we'll just do this here now we've got the two plist files now what you're going to want to do is rename the m688p.plist to n45ap.plist. Uh, this is also in the video description, guys. So, I've already actually got these files, so I'm just going to delete these two. As you see here, I've got the two files, and... I haven't renamed them yet, but I'm about to do that. First, actually, let's copy this so I don't lose it. Paste. Okay, here it is. We only need this. Just choose copy. See? Copy. And back onto other plist file, take it and paste, and delete the original too. Enter. Now that we've got this replaced plist file, all you have to do is drag it in, choose overwrite, choose continue. Once it's done uploading, you're going to want to somehow respring. Uh, I'm going to be doing this with SB settings, so just choose root spring. We're going to lose connection on this, but that's fine. Okay, we just lost connection. Okay. My iPod's are respring. Okay, it's done. Now I'll open the connection back up again. Except as you see here, we now have that activation thing. Uh as you see up there we've got the no service because it's searching for a SIM card and obviously the iPod Touch does not have a SIM card. We've got the iPod app, as you see here. Videos, songs, artists, playlists. Ah, uh, and probably the most influential thing is the camera. Click on camera.app and we'll let it load. And obviously the iPod Touch has no camera, so it won't be able to take pictures. But 
still nice fast ass ah, can't talk today uh, way to get to your application or your photos also if you go into photos you now have camera roll so that's pretty cool and settings airplane mode sounds wallpaper iPod and that's pretty much it now say you want this back like me cuz I, personally I don't see the point um okay all you have to do is what is this this is why I told you to copy these two files take the m 6 ap file and all you have to do is drag it in we'll just delete that and, and drag it in choose to overwrite actually no not that file sorry it's not the m80p file um it's the n45a file Delete this. And delete that. And all you have to do is drag it in. Choose to continue to overwrite. Now that's done, you can go back to the iPod and respring once again. Choose respring. Okay, I'm I just lost connection. Just use OK. OK, it's done. And we'll open up the connection again. Accept. Now we've got the music videos, Safari, and App Store, and we've lost camera. And nothing much else. If we go back into settings. Everything's back to normal. And now we have the iPod. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's how you turn your iPod Touch into your iPhone and back again. All the things that you need to rename and stuff are in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.